Leo, hey y'all, welcome back to your Southern Intuition. This is the rest of the story. So, <laughs> if you're new to the channel, <clears throat> please keep in mind, I do believe that everything connects eventually. And if this is your message to hear, you will do so. And then please like, share, and subscribe. <clears throat> If you're coming back, welcome back. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, even a cross watcher. If you're interested in what Leo's life is up to, then welcome in. <clears throat> I don't mind. Watch away. The story here is all about you and your situation. So that's how I want you to look at it. This is going to provide a sense of m investigating the challenging stories that you tell yourself by your conscious mind and hoping for you to remember that your ultimate happiness really depends on your willingness to constantly question your egocentric stories to see if they're really true or if your ego is just telling you something that only serves to cause you more stress. I'm going to start the reading out with some oracle messages and then I will pull the spread using the tarot of dreams i will give you an outcome to this and i will close the reading off with what you don't see coming at each of the bottom of the decks and we will be begin <laughs> this is for leo the big bad lion So Leo, your first card comes out as boundaries. There's a sense of boundaries that you are placing. It's card number 12 in the Queen of the Moon Oracle. The Queen of the Moon wants you to know that it's time to set boundaries. The waxing gibbous third stage of the moon could be of significance to you. The sacred destiny wants you to know that you are going forward. And from the enchanted map, you get the Ori Desert. Now we will pull for the story. And you get the three of coins. So that's the story. Right now you seem to be working, Leo. Working hard. In the position of what you think, what you get, what you feel, what you deserve, what you tell, what you are, what you need what you expect and the outcome. Okay. And so we begin. We begin with Leo's story. Okay. All right. So the Ori Desert is where we're at. And it's the 31st card. Digging deep for inspiration. Inspiration and truth. Now is the time to become resilient and adaptable. Is your life presenting you with opportunities that seem to yield nothing? 
have your ideals all dried up? Does it feel like you're on an endless journey through a dry, hot, lifeless desert? This card reminds you that there are times when you're meant to become resilient as you journey through harsher circumstances. You're being required to conserve your energy here until after a consistent effort, you reach the oasis that you're searching for. Consider creatures of the desert that live in these conditions and how they adapt, how they thrive out of their environment. In the desert, water is essential for life and it can be found deep underground. So you have to go deep within yourself right now, Leo, to find your truth. You got to let spirit sustain, sustain you while you locate this real source. Because whatever it is you're asking about will not be found in the conditions that you're in until you move past the surface of things and choose to do the real work. And discover for yourself <clears throat> the answers that are deep within you. They may not seem like the most productive, but looks are deceiving. So this is the most important place to find yourself right now. It truly is. There is a sense of you <clears throat> going forward. And as you move forward, Spirit wants you to know that you need to place some boundaries. Because your story starts here with the Three of Pentacles. Where there is something that you are putting a lot of work and effort into. It's like you're attaining some sort of knowledge here in a particular field. This is the act of creation. You know, you're making something, refining it out of something raw here. Uh, the picture that we have is of a glass blower who's working in a furnace here. And he's creating something, of course, beautiful out of raw materials. <clears throat> this is someone who's paid. You know, he's paid his dues and he commands and he respects his expert. He's an expert in his field here. He takes a lot of pride in his work. He's very eager to pass that knowledge on to a new generation. So I feel that the story says you've attained a mastery here in a particular subject, in a particular place that you've created boundaries for yourself to go forward in a place that maybe you didn't feel you was. The spirit wants you to know that you are and to know that you definitely have the power to harness and transform energies to give shape here to anything really that you want. Anything really that you even desire here. That is the three of pentacles. A lot of work in a place you might feel nothing is happening. But you've got to dig deep to figure out what you have learned here. As you move forward and don't forget to place a sense of boundaries upon yourself now what you think of it hmm, the chariot you think that it's time to move forward it's time to charge forth the chariot is all about oh Definitely moving forward. It's it's a confident approach to life. It's a willpower here. But you could be dealing with some sort of insecurity here with that chariot energy. You think you're ready to move on is what I'm getting. You, you think that you're ready to move on because where you have been building, where you have been working, you're not really seeing a lot come from it so you think it's time to go it's time to travel it's time to do something else you know you think you've learned all these lessons and now you're ready to apply those lessons that you've learned to new problems new challenges in your life you know you don't want to do something over and over again to expect a different result you think it's time to move on that's that's where you you're at so what are you going to get from that? The magician, the power to create, the power to manifest, but you have to be mindful of where you learned it from, that three of pentacles energy. The magician is all about creating. He is the creator. He is uses his tools to create. He is in a sense of education. He's a trainer. He's knowledgeable. 
So maybe you've been training. Maybe it's time that you move on here to train to do something new in your life. Now that you've learned how to blow glass here or do whatever amazing thing it is that you're doing, you're ready to teach someone else. And so that's what you're going to get, actually. In your pursuit here where you believe it's time to move on, you're actually going to become a teacher, which is amazing, Leo. You could step up in a managerial position where you're at. Hmm. How do you feel? The Palace of Cups. You are very emotional at this time. Very, very emotional. Interesting enough, the Palace here of Cups... It's a, it's a very unique card. I feel like it's just, it. you feel pretty cool. You feel pretty serene where you're at. You Your mood is kind of subtle because you're ready to explore other things. You seem to be a little bit quiet. You seem that you need to be quiet. Maybe you don't want to reveal all of this to anyone else. That's why you're creating those boundaries because you're ready to move on and do this but maybe you feel like you need to guard and protect yourself at this time what do you deserve this is what you expect you expect backlash here nine of swords you expect that your decision that you are going to create something new here is going to cause a sense of backlash, a sense of strife, maybe. Um, you, you feel that it's going to cause some stress, some tension, anxiety um, if you make to choose this, if you choose to make this move here. Because that Nine of Swords is a sense of you feel it's going to overwhelm you mentally. That's what I'm getting. You feel that it's going to overwhelm you. And that's, this is what you expect it to. You expect it to be a very big drain on you mentally. But it doesn't have to, you know. If you take things step by step, thought by thought, then your conscious mind is actually going to help construct you, you know. That way you don't get entrapped in a maze I feel like you expect that it's going to cause this backlash of negative energy. Keep in mind, Leo, that if we expect bad things to happen, then they probably will. Okay? So the obsessive tendencies here of your mind is what's going to bring you into a bleak landscape. Back into that Ori Desert. Where you're going to have these obsessive tendencies... To try to do things from a more vigilant perspective. Like, okay, I got to work harder. I got to work harder to do that. That's what you, that's what you uh, feel you deserve here. You feel like it's going to cause a lot of stress if you decide to make this move. What do you tell? So, how are you presenting yourself to others right now? Three of Swords. Like you're in pain, you're overburdened, you're stressed out. The Three of Swords is about heartache. And disappointed. You're suffering here. Whatever the situation, it's... You think... That's wrong for you to expect to desire something new. You feel like it's wrong and you're thinking it's wrong. I shouldn't want more for myself. Well, that's not, that's not true. And you don't need to project. You're, you are projecting these desires and these assumptions onto other people as well. And that's resulting in this pain, this resentment here that you have. But you're finally, I feel like you're finally discovering the world doesn't always work the way that you want it to, right? Because 
you are just thinking that there's limitations. There's something that you aren't experienced enough, that you haven't gotten balanced enough, or you haven't learned enough to be this teacher. That's what I'm getting. But what are you? A page of wands. You're just a student learning here as well. The page of wands is somebody that wants to pursue a new adventure and you're doing it with that magician, no matter how bleak it might seem to you. The page of wands is stepping in to say, hey, I'm, I'm ready for this new adventure. I'm excited. This um, is a new beginning here and Whatever current crisis that you might be facing, it, it's done, okay? You you are ready in the physical here to settle down, to enjoy a sense of stability that you have worked hard for. I feel that you're going to learn as much about this as you can before diving in head first, but be mindful that you are manifesting the situation so what do you need to help you move out of this sense of emotional and mental anguish about it support the six of cups you need to remember what it was like to be a kid again to feel good the six of cups is a beautiful energy of love and friendship and it's someone could be from your past but it's all about just an innocence you know what you need is that intense longing here to feel that confidence that you need to help you, that you felt it. You felt that energy in the past and that's what you need to feel again. Like when you started that new job, when you started that new career and it puts you on this place of this learning where you was ready to become that master, where you was ready to become that teacher, you need to remember what it was like when you started. That's what's gonna help propel you here. Now in the outcome, or not the outcome, excuse me, what you expect, though, to happen, what your conscious mind, okay, so you expect things to ramp up pretty fast for you to go for this, the Knight of Swords is an energy of going after what he wants, he's not, nothing is stopping him, so I don't know why you're sitting here kind of stressed out, because he narrows the limits, his focus is on what he's going to obtain, nothing's going to stop him, Whatever stage he's in is where his focus, his attention, his determination is very necessary. So it could depend a little bit on your ability to be patient, to work out the solutions, the kinks, and the problem. But forward movement is at hand here. As, as we, we step back and we look at everything, there is a sense of boundaries, Leo, that you're placing. Okay, there's a boundary here. And this boundary could actually be what's stopping you from going forward. And it's to do with you sitting in this environment of, I don't really see anything working out here. And you're working. That's what you're doing. You're working, you're working, you're working. You think that you are finally getting somewhere. And it's happening. The magician is here in your future. You're moving. You're grooving. You're going with this. You are. You're going with it. You're very emotional about it. And you feel like it's going to be a backlash. You feel like other people are going to be against what you're doing. And it's going to cause stress and anxiety. And people see that. People see that you're hurting. People see that you don't like it, what you're doing here. And so how you're going to present yourself is as a student of something new. And you just got to keep that childlike innocence to help push you forward in this new career. Because that, that's what I'm getting. I feel like you are embarking on a new career here. Let's see your outcome. 
A queen of wands. Beautiful. There you are. You're confident. You're standing in your power. You've got a beautiful, strong personality. You're doing it. You're doing it. It's great. It's great. Let's see what is coming that you don't see. Assessing. Okay. So I see you stepping back, assessing these boundaries, these limitations that you've put on yourself. And moving forward towards this beautiful new opportunity. Oh, and a spirit of place. Finding a sense of meditation. Being finding a place of meditative state. You know, you 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 might not see it yet, but if you sit down and you really look at your whole thing as a as a whole as together, that's really gonna help propel you forward the spirit of place. And finally, what you don't see coming, the eight of pentacles, your work is paying off. Okay. Your hard work, your effort is paying off. You've learned a whole lot. You will be given new opportunities. Things will be in balance. The universe is at hand. Good things are coming here. Don't stop trying here, Leo. Don't stop because whatever it is that you've been working on, your dreams of going forward towards this new opportunity are definitely here. So that is what I have for you. And good luck with that.